In this video, I will show you how to install Kali Linux on Windows 11 using WSL. WSL means Windows Subsystem for Linux. It is a feature of Windows 11 that allows you to directly run a Linux environment on your Windows system. So you don't need to install a Kali Linux separately. So within the your Windows 11, you can install uh, Kali Linux or any other flavor which support by WSL easily using this feature. However, this feature require virtualization need to be enabled from BIOS and you are running Windows 64 system with version 1903 or higher and the build number is 183 is 62 or higher so how we can check there are many way to check one of them is go to windows uh, powershell and here you can type system info you can use a cmd as well okay so if i go up i'm running windows 11 and the version is 10 also the build is 2262 which is require 18 and it is higher than the require one and go down in the same thing and here you will find virtualization enable and firmware is yes if it is no you need to enable virtualization so both the requirement are there so i'm good to go okay okay i check you can use system info directly as well you can just type system info and you will get the same information also you can use a cmd next we need to install wsl WSL can be installed through CLI or you can graphically install go to turn windows feature on off and select two things okay virtual machine platform and second windows subsystem for Linux so let's install first this feature on windows 11 so let me go to windows 11 and from start type here turn windows feature on off okay and make sure that these two things are enabled so if i go here so virtual machine platform is already enabled and also windows a subsystem for linux is already enabled you just need to click uh, tick mark here and click ok and it will install and it will require to restart the system so i already have the wsl so what I need to do, I need to install Kali Linux. So what I need to do, go to Windows PowerShell and run PowerShell as administrator. Click yes. Okay, so I run Windows PowerShell and you can use CMD as well. And if you want to check WSL dash dash status, so it will show you that the default version is 2. And so it means I'm running WSL and it is already installed by the way wsl and hyphen hyphen and you can type help to get all the commands you can see there is many switches to use many option to use which i will use some of them so you i get from help okay easily let me clear the screen so next thing i need to install by the way you can check the flavor as well wsl dash dash and here you can type sorry list and a dash online if you type this command so it will show you which distro it support so you went to debian kali linux the one which we are interested okay so it is support and you can see these are the other flavor which is support by this uh, feature so we are interested in kali linux so let me clear the screen and what i need to do here wsl and type install only and hit enter by default it will install ubuntu keep in mind you see the default version is ubuntu so it will install ubuntu after that i can install kali linux otherwise you can use this command wsl install distro dash d and type kali linux so it will install that one now it install ubuntu and this may take a few minutes and after that because i'm interested in kali linux so i will install kali linux okay so it's asking the username so username i will set ali for ubuntu and the password and let me confirm the password and that's it and ubuntu is installed successfully on my system to use them however i'm not interested in ubuntu i want to install kali linux so the next step is 
I will exit from here and this time I will choose you see now I am logging to Ubuntu however let me exit from here and now I am in the CMD again and my PowerShell so let me type this one and dash D if you want to check the list so if you remember you can copy from here as well so let me type install dash D D for a distro so the distro which I am interested to install is this one so hit enter to copy and paste you need to type the same name so I said WSL installed distro Kali Linux that I want to install Kali Linux okay so it will start to install Kali Linux on your window machine so let's see it will take some time and you can see it's uh, almost 84 person and it will install and then it will ask you to put a username and password so again like uh, Ubuntu I need to type the username and password yeah so here I need to type Ali and password a b c at one two three four five a b c at one two three four five for my lab purpose and here is now i am in the kali linux okay this is kali linux okay if you want to check which flavor i install so get etc and os release so you can see i'm using version the latest version of kali linux 20241 this is the version so i install kali linux next on the kali linux okay it's already there now but how to access them graphically but before that copy uh, sorry type sudo apt update it's better to update them i know it's already updated but this is the command a b c at one two three four five okay so it will update to the latest everything up kali linux okay and after that i will install the a graphical version so i can access from my windows 11 this kali linux graphically right now it's only cli okay so it's done next thing is the command is sudo and app and i will install kali dash win and and is this the command and i will type yes okay i need to wait for a while it will take some time to install okay it's almost 13 uh, 15 person okay so these are the uh, steps which we follow okay these are the command which you can use and then we set the username and password and now we are here so i make update and now we install so that we can access kali linux graphically let's go back if it is done or not okay still 88 person so next i can access this system uh, graphically okay when this one is installed so let's go back we need to wait for a while it's almost uh, 98 person and after that i can access this kali linux graphically within my windows 11 you don't need to install them from scratch separately okay so it's 99 percent and it's done okay that's it so it's now installing this feature so that we can access this uh kali linux graphically so we need to wait it's almost six percent okay so let's go back to windows 11 let's see yeah so it's almost 97 percent done okay we need to wait for a while so yeah it's done and now if i clear the screen if i type win and oh sorry <coughs> okay we need to let me copy the command from here and let's type here and hit enter and type password a b c at one two three four five verify a b c at one two three four five and let me type no it's it's okay and now let's see you will access this kali linux graphically okay here is 
so you can see kali linux is here and i can access them the terminal and everything graphically within the windows 11 and i can access go to home do cli do everything and finally when you are done just click here and uh, log out okay and from here you are back to windows 11 because it was open graphically there is another way as well you can open it and let me copy this command both command can be used but they are working a bit different okay let me copy the command again okay here is copy and let's go back to here and hit enter so now the password is a b c eight two one two three four five and now you can access connect click yes and you can see this time you access remotely so it's up to you which method you like and then when you are done just click close and you will be back <clears throat> so both ways are possible now if you want to exit from here just click exit and you will be back to your powershell now i am in powershell so in powershell you can check now if i want to shut down both so you need to type wsl and then a shut down so it will shut down ubuntu and also kali linux now it's shut down so in this way you can uh, shut down okay and that's it so this was the way to install kali linux using wsl uh, wsl feature on windows 11 there are many other command related to wsl as well you want to make the version 2 there are two version of wsl so you can use this command you can update WSL as well and many other things. However, we were interested how to install Kali Linux on Windows 11 using a WSL.